Today in WWE 2K24, it is a Raw versus SmackDown tournament for Raw superstars, for SmackDown superstars, which brand is superior. And here is our tournament bracket. Each first round matchup will feature one Raw superstar and one SmackDown superstar. And let's get this thing started with WWE Undisputed Champion Cody Rhodes of SmackDown taking on Drew McIntyre of Raw. Cody Rhodes versus Drew. Drew McIntyre definitely should have been one of the first draft picks of Monday Night Raw. Over Jay Uso now, it was tough to decide who to pick for each brand, so I went with each champion, obviously Cody Rhodes and Damian Priest for each brand, and then I went with the IC champion, Sami Zayn and Logan Paul, and then I went with who I think is the next best superstars on each show. So Cody versus Drew, we got a figure four leg lock in right now. And Drew McIntyre able to flip that pressure. And I definitely do like main event Jey Uso, but I would say Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins should have been picked before him, if I'm being honest here. You let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And the only unfortunate thing about this tournament is that if two SmackDown superstars win on the same side of the bracket, it won't be SmackDown versus Raw, but we'll see what happens here. We're outside the ring, and Drew is dominating Cody Rhodes outside the ring, but Cody going to use his rage ability, going to get himself a crossroads. And he's going to toss Drew back in the ring. And it could be a mistake for Drew as he's caught by a bionic elbow. And now Cody Rhodes with the left hands inside the SmackDown squared circle. And Cody does have a finisher. Is he going to go for it here? He's looking for crossroads. Down goes Drew McIntyre of Monday Night Raw for the one, two, Three, Drew McIntyre eliminated from the tournament, and Cody of SmackDown moves on. Next, let's switch over to Monday Night Raw for the World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Priest versus the Viper, Randy Orton of SmackDown. This should be a good matchup. Now, Damian Priest has the home ring advantage. On Monday Night Raw, but out of the gate comes Randy Orton with his vintage scoop slam. Take it on the World Heavyweight Champion. Randy Orton clotheslined by Priest here. Damian. What's he going to go for to start this match or the World Heavyweight Champion? you got to make your mark early on in this tournament. I would probably try to do that too if I was facing the Viper, Randy Orton. You do not want Randy Orton to hang around a match. He's going to use that experience and use those three letters, the RKO, to dominate. But what a move by Damian Priest flying outside the ring. Looked like a swanton bomb. Damian Priest has Orton up and plants him down. Looking for the cover. One, two... Damian Priest can't get the three. Randy Orton kicks out, but he could be setting him up for a finisher here. Powdered by Orton. Randy Orton counters the finisher from Damian Priest. And what did I say, Randy Orton? The, the ref can't even handle it. What was the ref doing? Kick out at one by Priest, though. The three most devastating letters in WWE. The RKO. Counter Damian Priest finisher. And then hit him with an RKO. And now has busted the World Heavyweight Champion open. And now Orton, this match is in his favor as he hits his vintage middle rope DDT has now hit an RKO on Priest and now a middle rope DDT Orton admiring his work it must be time the Vipers ready to strike here against the world heavyweight champion RKO counter though by Priest and Priest with the slam Priest outside the ring working on Randy Orton could get him counted out if he wants here what is Priest going to go for? He's going to toss him back in the ring with two finishers. Priest is in a great position to win this match. If he can hit a South of Heaven finisher, he's going to go to the top rope, actually. Damian Priest flying elbow. Is he going to go for the pin? Yes, he is. Is Orton going to be able to kick out of this? One, two. Orton gets the shoulder up at two. Priest, though, with two finishers. Is he going for the South of Heaven? Priest. Or is he going Razor's Edge? He's going Razor's Edge. Paying homage to Razor Ramon with the Razor's Edge finisher. Down goes the Viper, the World Heavyweight Champion. One, two, three. Damian Priest wins for Monday Night Raw. We head back to Friday Night SmackDown for a matchup between Logan Paul and Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins, Logan Paul. Here we go, rematch of WrestleMania 39. Logan Paul wants his revenge for SmackDown and for himself. So Seth Rollins, he was drafted to Raw, even though he's gonna be out for quite some time. Moonsault though by Logan Paul, springboard moonsault. So he wants to pick up the win for Raw, and Logan Paul wants to get it for SmackDown. But only one man can get it, and so far Priest has won it for Raw, and Cody Rhodes has won it for SmackDown. If the trend continues, that means Logan Paul is gonna win this one. Logan Paul must have learned something in his first matchup against Seth Rollins, because Rollins is not getting any offense in right now. Logan Paul already with a finisher. Can he connect with a frog splash or the brass knuckles right hand? He's going up top. 
Here we go. Logan Paul. Frog splash from the US champion. One, two. Seth Rollins barely kicks out. He wants Rollins to get up. Springboard. Lariat connects with Seth freaking Rollins. And down is Rollins again. And another frog splash to Seth freaking Rollins. Logan Paul, what a performance. Gets the three and eliminates Seth freaking Rollins. For our final round one matchup, it's the megastar LA Knight of SmackDown taking on the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn of Monday Night Raw. LA Knight dropping the knee on the face of the IC Champion. Winner of this match gets Cody Rhodes. Gets the undisputed WWE Champion. Will it be SmackDown's LA Knight or Sami Zayn of Monday Night Raw and White Noise? by LA Knight. What a move. Still can't get over Logan Paul's performance. It was all Logan Paul against Seth Rollins. And now LA Knight going to the top rope, missing the knee. Sami Zayn now trying to bounce back after a slow start to the matchup. And he's got himself a DDT. LA Knight with Sami Zayn up top. LA Knight, he could be going superplex. His signature move. Is he going for it here? Yes, he is. LA Knight, is he going to pull it off against the Intercontinental Champion? Oh my goodness, superplex. Down goes Sami Zayn. Is it for the one, two? He kicked out. You know what that means? BFT, down goes Sami. And this time, the one, two. He kicked out of the BFT. You can never count out Sami Zayn, though. He is the ultimate underdog. Nice move right there. Suplex into the neck breaker by LA Knight. Sami looking to get a finisher, too. He's closing in on one. Very close to Haluva kick here. He's got it. Sami Zayn. Haluva kick. Down goes the megastar. Will it be a three count for Sami? Hooking the leg on LA Knight. One. Two! LA Knight gets the shoulder up. Best match of the video so far. LA Knight potentially closing in on another finisher. But he goes back to the top rope. If he tries to drop that knee again and misses wildly. Okay, no, he wants Sami Zayn to get up. What's he going for here? LA Knight, nice move from the top rope. He's got himself a finisher. But Sami Zayn able to get up really quickly. Not sure how he did that. BFT, LA Knight was looking for it. Sami Zayn, though, is up. And Sami Zayn. Has LA Knight in the corner. Can he get a finisher and another Haluva kick? He's closing in. Another right hand might do it. Setting him up in the corner. Flipping him around maybe. LA Knight. What's Sammy going for here? Nice German suplex and a finisher. Sami Zayn could win this thing for Raw. What would be a huge comeback here if he could set LA Knight up? He goes for the signature move though. That could put LA Knight away. He's going for a cover. The blue thunder bomb by Sami Zayn could end this one right here. The one, two, three. Sami Zayn completes the comeback. Let's head to our first semifinals matchup between SmackDown's Cody Rhodes and Raw Sami Zayn. We are back on SmackDown now where Cody Rhodes has the home ring advantage planning Sami Zayn. These guys are good friends. Cody Rhodes and Sami Zayn were dealing with the bloodline for a long time. They had each other's back for a long time, but now they're going one-on-one -on -one to see which brand is better. Sammy's got himself a signature move. Will he go for the Blue Thunder Bomb? Yes, he will! Blue Thunder Bomb planting Cody Rhodes! One, two! Oh, Cody, I thought he actually might not kick out there. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I think it's crossroad time. Crossroads time! Crossroads! Down goes Sami Zayn! Can Cody Rhodes pick up the win? Two! Kick out in two by Sami Zayn. And now both men have hit a big move. A finisher by Cody. A signature by Sami Zayn. And Cody Rhodes may be closing in on another signature move. But he's got to watch out for Sami Zayn. Who has a finisher. But a nice bulldog right there. Sami has two finishers. Now he's going to have three finishers. A blue thunder bomb could take out the American Nightmare here. He kicks out in two. But Sami Zayn has a super finisher. I actually have to check what it is. Is it like a super haluva kick? Back inside the ring though. Disaster kick. Down goes Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes. Now he's going to look for the pedigree. Cody. Pedigree to Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes though out of it. Is he going to be able to get to the cover? Here we go. Cover on Sami Zayn. One. Two. He kicked out. Cody's going to the top rope. What does he have for Sami Zayn up there? Is he going suplex? What is this? Looks like it might be countered by Sami Zayn. Maybe not. No, it isn't going to be countered. Sami Zayn planted from the top rope. That's got to do it. 
but Cody Rhodes wants to make sure. And here we go. Finish your time. Crossroads. Crossroads to Sammy. One, two, three. What a match. For our next semifinals match, it is Damian Priest of Monday Night Raw up against Logan Paul of SmackDown. The winner of this match takes on Cody Rhodes in the final. Will it be a SmackDown versus SmackDown final? Logan Paul versus Cody, where SmackDown will have dominated this tournament? Or will it be a Raw versus SmackDown final? I'm definitely pulling for that. World Heavyweight Champion versus WWE Champion. But right now, Logan Paul in enemy territory starting off pretty well with a nice splash and a pin. Let's see. No way he gets a three right, barely gets a one. Now Damien going leapfrog here, looking to bounce back. Has Logan Paul up, has Logan Paul down. The world heavyweight champion with the elbow to the chest of Logan Paul here. And Logan back to his feet. Damien Priest, big close line to the United States champion. Has him in the corner exactly where he wants him here. What's Priest going to go for? A little bit of right hands. Right hand again. Another right hand. Right hands to the face of Logan. Dropping him to the canvas. Damian Priest going for the razor's edge. Once again, the move that won him his first round matchup. Can it put Logan Paul away? No, he countered it. Logan Paul, nice counter. He would have been in a bad spot. But he's able to counter and get out of that one. And now Logan Paul. He's trying to pick up some momentum, tilt to world backbreaker. Logan Paul, standing splash. He has a finisher, he has a signature. The right hand, down goes Damian Priest. Is it gonna be enough for SmackDown to win this match in enemy territory? Damian Priest just gets the shoulder up, rolls out of the ring. Logan Paul has every move he can want right now. Has Priest in the corner, down goes Priest. To the top rope goes Logan. A frog splash here could end it. Logan Paul, frog splash to beat the world heavyweight champion. Two, three, <laughs> Damian Priest eliminated. It'll be a SmackDown versus SmackDown final. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Will he win it for SmackDown or will it be Logan Paul? And here it comes, Logan Paul. Paul, the U.S. champion who could shock the world by winning it all. And here we go for the finals. I did want to see a Raw versus SmackDown final, but it's not the way this tournament ended up. I was going to do one side of the bracket Raw and one side of the bracket SmackDown, but then we only would have had one final matchup with Raw versus SmackDown matches. Instead, I believe we got about six Raw versus SmackDown matches. Only one match of the same brand here. So it'll be Logan Paul versus Cody Rhodes. SmackDown obviously wins, but we'll see which SmackDown member is actually better here. Logan sees Cody in the corner and there's a clothesline by Logan Paul. If he wins this tournament, that would be unreal. But he can definitely do it. He's in the finals. Just needs one more three count or a submission to do it. Cody Rhodes from behind. Has Logan Paul. Cody, what do you got for him here? Cody Rhodes with Logan Paul up and he counters Logan Paul. Well, I accidentally messed up the camera. I hate when I do that, but we're outside the ring here. Cody Rhodes planting Logan Paul. Cody has himself a finisher. Will he put Paul back in the ring? If anybody knows how to fix the camera angle back to the normal one, once you mess up with it on accident, let me know in the comments down below because I have like a free camera right now. It's not focused on either superstar at the moment, but we're outside the ring. Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul we're at a five count. Cody does have the finisher. And we're going to see what happens here. Can both men get counted out? Will Cody win the tournament based on a count out? That would be an anticlimactic finish. He's going to go for a count out win. He might actually get it too. Cody, there's no way he's going to win it by a count out. Cody Rhodes just won the tournament. Cody Rhodes just won the Raw versus SmackDown tournament on a count out. Victory! I honestly can't believe he took the count out win. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.